That's for the camera. Anyways. What's up guys? How you guys doing? How you guys feeling? Good fucking morning. I'm exhausted. Just got back from the gym. Had to do faster cardio this morning. Today's a low day. Rest day. Active rest day. So we just did cardio. Went to shop right real quick to get a couple things so that we can make breakfast and have something for the next couple days. Anyways, I feel like I live there, which I do, but that's all right. So we just got a couple things today. I just want to talk to you guys about life update. What we're doing moving forward, what's going on, and a couple benefits of having somebody like Kai. Kyle's a go. So this right now, we're gonna unpack this, we're gonna make breakfast. We're late as fuck. It's about 10 a.m. That's super late. I usually eat breakfast by 7.30 the latest, but again, it's an active rest day. I just want to take it easy. I'm gonna work today, so we good. Let's go ahead and put this away. Make some breakfast, and we're about to have a nice little toast. So we're about to take meal one down and get my vitamins. So right here we got 275 grams of egg whites, two whole eggs, pastry rate, and 115 grams of asparagus. These are fries, these are my fries. To you, potatoes are your fries, asparagus are my fries. So we're about to kill this real quick and we're gonna tell you guys everything we got going on, what's going on, what's happening next, and why you need a coach. I'm going to explain to you guys why you need a coach because a lot of you guys have a lot of ego and think you guys got it and you don't. So we're about to figure it out. We're about to answer some questions. Let's go. Anyways, guys, I could not show you guys me dogging it because I was too hungry. We started real late today. I usually, like I said, I start eating like 7.30. I do my fasted cardio at 6 in the morning. Today, I did wake up at 6.30, but... I had to go do stay master. Coach said he wants me to stay master at least half of my cardio, half of my morning fasted cardio session. So with that being said, I don't have stairs in my house. So I gotta go do that. I have a bike, I have a treadmill as you guys know, but I don't have stairs. So I had to go to um, the gym. So what I did this morning was 25 minutes on the stair master, 40 minutes on the treadmill, 15 minutes on the stoner, and I did four sets of different ad workouts. So we spent a lot of time in the gym this morning, um, active rest day for real. And then we went to shop, I grabbed a couple things. So I was hungry as fuck. It's currently 11 in the morning. That's super duper late. But whatever, we got it done. The job's always getting done no matter what time it is. You feel me? So that's that. I was going to show you guys catch up all over my beer and shit. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about what's going to happen next, like I said why you need a coach because i'm gonna be honest for a long time a long period of time i thought i didn't need a coach i thought i had it i knew how to work out i graduated from from college for exercise science so i know about the body i know about all of this but it doesn't matter how smart you are it doesn't matter how much you know what matters is accountability you know what i'm saying so being that accountability is the biggest factor of all of this you need somebody there for you it's like having a father, bro. And I'm going to be honest, me growing up, you probably guys probably don't know this, but I never had a father. So everything that I did was either self-talk through my mother or myself, which being that a mother is a mother, that's not a father, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that's a missing piece of the puzzle, a big missing piece of the puzzle that a lot of us have. You know what I'm saying? So and that's why you guys will always see my son in my videos. You guys will always see him in everything because at the end of the day, I'm an active father and I'm going to make sure he has a missing piece of the puzzle that I did. So with that being said, why a coach is so very, very important is because he's there to hold you accountable. He's there to tell you what you're doing wrong, what you could do, what you could be doing better. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's why it's good to find a good coach. You have to find somebody that you're compatible with, somebody that you like the results that he produces. You know what I'm saying? Find somebody that you can relate to. Don't just find a coach because he's famous. Don't find a coach because he looks good. Don't find a coach because this. You actually have to see what that coach provides for you, what that coach is willing to produce for you. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of coaches are just doing this for the money. You know, and um and like another like a benefit another benefit of having a good coach is like a coach that knows that you can follow the blueprint where it's being told is the food. Like any coaches a lot of coaches give you food just trying to make you lose weight, but is that food gonna make sure that you're happy? Because if you're not happy and you're miserable, you're gonna cheat. If you're not happy and you're miserable, you're gonna fuck up all the way. You're gonna keep fucking up. You're gonna keep fucking up and keep fucking up because it's just like it's not sustainable. You know what I'm saying? And that's another reason why I love Kyle because the way I've been eating, I'm not miserable at all. I can play with my food. I have options. It is very, very important that somebody, your coach, knows about food so they give you options because a lot of coaches don't really know about nutrients, macros, and all that stuff. So guess what? They just give you fish and this, chicken and this. And then it's like there's no or. So you need that or so that it's not the same thing every fucking day. Because when it's the same thing every fucking day, bro, I'm going to be honest, that shit is devastating, bro. I've been there. I've done that. And I fucking hate it like bro. I fucking hate it like bro. And it sucks. It fucking sucks. I'm not even gonna lie. At first, when I first first got with Kyle, I was like, dang. His responses was really late. His response return was ridiculous. But I also had to sit down and be accept mindful of the fact and accept the fact that he has a lot of clients. He's a grown man. I'm a grown man. You know what I'm saying? But coming closer to my last show. He really showed me what it is to be a coach. He really showed me what it is to show up as a person, as an individual that actually cares, you know? So I've had my last two coaches. I, I will never get another coach. I'm, I'm stuck with Kyle. Kyle, we're here till we go pro. Kyle, we're here till we hit whatever pinnacles it is that we have to reach. Kyle, we're fucking here. I hope you watch this. But again, more prior with my last two coaches, nothing against them. I'm still cool with them to this day, but... They were close. Kyle's kind of far. And with him being far, it made me appreciate him so much more because now the accountability is a little bit higher. I can't see him every day in person. So now I gotta be like, damn, I gotta step it up. Cause when I send Kyle these pictures, they have to be better than last week. They have to be on point. I gotta prove a point with these pictures. You know, that's accountability. So now when I go and fill out Kyle's check-in page, did you do your diet 100%? Yes or no. So not only is it me saying yes to him, but it's also like, damn, did I? Now you're like, if you didn't, you're like, oh, shit. Some of you may lie, but you also have to be honest with yourself. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. If you didn't, what did you do differently? What went wrong? Because if you don't tell him what's wrong, he'll never know. He can't give you a blueprint. He can't give you a blueprint based on your, mes on your mistakes or give you a blueprint based on what you're doing right. Based on the blueprint. So based on the blueprint, you have to be honest so that you can get the correct blueprint. Because if you're sitting there lying and Kyle's taking carbs, putting carbs and all this other stuff, adjusting your diet to your lies, you will never reach the results that you want. You will never reach the places that you need to get to because you're lying. You know, so again, you have to hold yourself accountable. These pictures hold you accountable. These questions hold you accountable. Did you sleep? You know what I'm saying? And these are questions that my previous coach never even asked me. Did you get enough rest? I never knew how rest, how much rest was important. I never knew how following these rules and following these things were so important because I was held accountable, yes, but I feel like there's so much more accountability him being a little bit distant because it's like, damn, I want to prove a point. But not more so for him, for myself. Like, I really, really want to prove a point. I want to be successful in what I'm doing. So I got to do what I got to do so that these pictures come up there. I got to do what I got to do so that scale is subtracting the numbers every time I check in. You know what I'm saying? So, again, people go ahead and not get a coach because they feel like they know what they're doing. It's okay to know what you're doing. But there's always somebody that knows a little bit more than you. There's always somebody that you could learn from. If you're not learning every day, you are not moving on. You're not moving forward in life. And that's, you have to be 100% honest about that. Like, you cannot keep walking around life like, I know this, I know that. Because to know and not do is to not know at all. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be willing to sacrifice those couple dollars to spend on a coach 
or somebody, even if they're not charging you, but you need somebody to hold you accountable. You need somebody to send pictures to. You need somebody to tell you when you're wrong because you think your friends are going to tell you? No. You think these people that walk around, they're going to tell you? They might. But are they going to tell you to their best interest? No. People going to walk around and you're hitting the gym for a month or two and they know you're hitting the gym. You look good. But do you really? Or do you really look good? Yes, things will change. Your physique will change here and there, but... What kind of results do you want? That's what it comes down to. What kind of results do you really, really want? You know what I'm saying? Like, it comes down to the fact that, do you want X, Y, and Z? Which one do you want? So that you can get somebody to hold you accountable to those particular points. You know what I'm saying? So, again, I go ahead and pay Kyle what I get. Kyle's fucking one of the top-notch coaches, if you know, search him up. And I said, you know what? I want to get to this type of success. I gotta hire somebody that has what I need, right? I gotta put up with what comes with it. He's gonna take long to answer sometimes. He's gonna be busy. I'm not gonna see him as much, but guess what? Those are the little small things that make me hungrier. Cause at the end of the day, I know what I want. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like, when it comes down to ego, you have to put that aside. Like, all right, I'm gonna get somebody that I can learn from, I'm going to get somebody that can drive me in the direction that I get to, and I got to get somebody that's going to give me cri cr constructive criticism that I can accept. Because if you can accept constructive criticism, you will never elevate. Because you need somebody to tell you when you're wrong. You don't always need somebody to tell you that you're doing good. Your friends and all those extra people that you see on the, here and there are going to be like, hey, you look good. Hey, you're doing this. Very few people will tell you when you're doing something wrong. Very few people will tell you that you look like shit. Because they're scared to make you feel bad. They don't want to hurt your feelings or for many different reasons. And those are the people that aren't going to benefit you because if nobody's telling you what you're doing wrong, how are you going to do something right? You think you may be doing it right, but at the end of the day, hey, you need somebody that's smarter than you. It's like a business. Even with a business, if nobody is there to tell you how to run a business that you never ran before, how would you know how to run it? Google has answers. Yes, Google has answers, but... Out of all the answers you look up on Google, half of the time you're going crazy. Half of the time you're going crazy. You ever got sick or something, you look on Google and it's time you're about to fucking die. You're going to fucking die. You got AIDS. You have fucking AIDS. You, 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 you're itchy right here, you have AIDS. Go on Google, I'm itchy, you got AIDS. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm sorry to get to that furthest extent, but it's just an example. You guys got to feel me, you know? I'm not going to be fake with you guys. I'm going to be 100% real. So, with that being said, right? Moving forward, what are we doing? Moving forward, how are things going to go? So, based off my last show, um, I was happy as fuck. I was happy as fuck. I did not expect to place what I placed. I did classic physique for the first fucking time. I did classic physique for the first fucking time. And I didn't expect to get those results. I got third, and then I got fourth, or fifth. Third and fifth. Men's physique, I got third and fourth. And men's physique, that was my third time doing men's physique. That show compared to my last show, like I told you guys, me getting third place in that show was like getting first place on my last show. I was happy. I was satisfied. No, I was not satisfied, but I was happy because never satisfied. But happy because of how well I did in that type of show. That show was stacked. That show was fucking stacked, bro. Like that show, bro, I ain't, like I told you, Aaron, baby Aaron Banks was in there. But classic, bro, I was so surprised with myself that I had changed into my board shorts and they were calling my name still to give me an award for for classic physique that I was like, oh shit, I thought I didn't, I didn't even think I placed, I had to fucking get ass naked in front of a whole bunch of people real quick, switch my shorts to go back on stage and get my fucking trophy or, I mean, medals. I did not expect it. So... Again, I was super duper happy, but I was never, I was not satisfied. So fast forward, Saturday night, Kyle says, yo, enjoy yourself tomorrow. Um, we'll speak on Monday and we'll move on. We'll move forward based on how you feel and what you want to do. We'll have a conversation. I'm like, you know what? Cool, say no more. And he said, enjoy myself. <laughs> why did you tell me that, Kyle? Why? Cool. Kyle, why the fuck did you tell me to enjoy myself? Because honestly, bro, like, I'm a fat fuck. So yesterday, I sat there with Robin, and we kind of like broadly 
count the calories that I consumed on Sunday, the day after my show, and we were about 8,000 calories, and I know that was under. That was very much under. Like, bro, I went crazy. And I felt like shit. I felt like shit. I couldn't wait for Monday to come to talk to Kyle. Because me without a diet is like a chicken with a head cut off. No bueno. Again, accountability, guidance. You know, I'm a person, Kyle tells me to eat shit, I'm gonna eat shit. He told me to enjoy myself, I completely went crazy. So, what it was, the day after my show, if you guys watched my last video, the day of my show, Saturday, I try to be very like, the show ended like at 10 o'clock, so I couldn't even go get burgers or anything. So what I did was, I had um, all my food that I prepared for the show, which Kyle told me to get ready, like, for example, healthy stuff, jasmine rice, ground beef, turkey bacon, eggs, rice cakes, almond butter, jelly, honey, stuff like that. That's what pump up and all that, extra, all that extra stuff. You guys saw, you guys, if you watch my last video, you saw all the miscellaneous things that I bought for the show. So, rewind real quick, end of the show, I took a bag with me. I took a, a, a container, my bag with a container of food. So I put jasmine rice, ground beef, two whole eggs, turkey bacon, and some rice cakes, almond butter, and honey and jelly, whatever, all that stuff. So I'm like, I'm gonna just eat that nice healthy plate after the show, cause I know this shit's ending late. I'm not even really get to go get no burgers or nothing. Fuck. All right. I was in the fucking dining room where everybody celebrating. That's all my video, so I was chilling with everybody, all the fam. I ate that plate, so I'm thinking that's not that bad. I ate the rice, ground beef, turkey bacon, two whole eggs. I'm like, cool, I didn't feel like I didn't feel that bad. I had like 10 rice cakes, fucking almond butter, it just tasted so fucking good. That wasn't that bad. It was like 11 o'clock now. Um, my girl's family had a dinner that night or a family function that night. We went. I had some seafood rice over there and two different cakes. Chocolate cake and lemon pie cake. I felt like, eh, whatever. It wasn't that bad. We went back to the hotel. I had a protein pumpkin spice muffin from, um, I forgot the name. One of my man's brought it, man. He shout out to man, he brought it for me. Ate that shit. Fell asleep. I woke up at three in the fucking morning to pee. I opened the little baby fridge in the room and I had a fucking cookies and cream cookie. Fucking cookie this big. Bro, oh, and I had the buck thigh brownies. Bro, fucking, it wasn't that crazy, but it was crazy. I'm already going crazy, bro. I'm already enjoying myself. Say no more. Ritual, brownstone pancake factory the next morning. I fucking had bacon. No, I don't eat bacon. I don't eat pork. No pork. Turkey bacon, chicken sausage, egg and cheese on a croissant. I needed like a breakfast sandwich. Boom. Three pancake tacos, blueberry pancake tacos, cheesecake, fried Oreos, and Nutella drizzle all in there. You saw the video, you saw it. Go back and watch it. Wow, amazing. That alone was like 4,000 calories, whatever the case may be. Then I fucking went to Habit Burger. I had two burgers. Then the fuck ice cream truck passed by my house. Ice cream, a uh, fucking double cone. Went to Trader Joe's, bought fucking cheesecake, um, mini cheesecake cones. Fucking, then I went to the taco spot that you're gonna see in the next video that I drop. I went to that taco spot and fucking had like three, four tacos. And then ordered, I had some fucking strawberry muffins from Trader Joe's. And then, what else did I have that day? I know I had something else that day. I don't know, I, bro, it was OD, it was crazy. Then Monday comes, Kyle hasn't responded, hit up Kyle, he didn't respond yet again. Dealing with a busy coach, you have to accept those type of things. Chick-fil-A, two chicken sandwiches, a fucking um, mac and cheese bowl, bro, big ass lemonade, chicken nuggets. Oh shit, yo, I have to get back on my diet. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Whatever it case be. So I'm over here trying to fit, go back on my diet. It's Monday, go to my girl's mom's house. She had a fucking rice with steak, and I'm like, all right, cool, that's it. I have to get back on my diet. Tuesday comes, Kyle finally answers me. Yo, what's up, how you doing, bro? I'm like, bro, thank God you answered me because this is crazy. Stage weight, 203 pounds. When Kyle called me, I was 214 pounds already. He goes, oh, so you only up 
12, 13 pounds, all right, that's not that bad. You couldn't have done that much damage. A lot of it could be water weight. So, how do you want to go about this? I'm like, honestly, bro, I need to get my diet because I can't do this. You feel me? Fast forward to Thursday, I woke up 220 pounds. I was already back on my diet for one day. I wanted to fucking cry, bro. Yo, I really wanted to cry. 220 pounds? And I had to check in on Friday? Bro, how the fuck was I gonna check in at 220 pounds? I fucking just told him I was 214 pounds. How the hell did I gain weight and I got back on my diet that much? It was just ridiculous, bro. So, again, when we had that conversation on Tuesday, Kyle asked me, yo, what do you wanna do? I'm like, Kyle, fuck that. What do you recommend I do? You know what I'm saying? Like, what I wanna do, I wish I could. I just want to eat a whole fucking supermarket if I can. No, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna do that, but I don't wanna do it. So he's like, what do you really want to do? Do you feel like you could keep going? Do you feel like your body is done? You just want to eat? Or can you continue to diet? Like, what do you really want to do? I'm like, look, Kyle, I trust you enough to give me your recommendations. I trust you enough to, we want to keep going or we're going to jump right into the off season. I said, bro, I trust you to, j to jump into the off season, get me to the body that I need to get to and Get me to a physique that I can sustain where I'll be content, you know, growing. I know my abs are probably not going to be there, still chiseled up a little bit, but growing. He's like, yeah, of course, but like, what do you really want to do? So we just smashed a, thresh a threshold that you never got to. Your conditioning is good. It's not great, but it's good. So he's telling me, I'm like, All right, so what do you recommend? He's like, look, if your body could keep going and you feel like you could do another show let's go for it like he's like what what do you think do you love this shit i'm like yeah, bro hell yeah i love this shit like i cannot not be on a diet that's why i've been beasting you you feel me so he's like all right look I'm, it's tuesday i'm gonna give you until friday sit down think about it talk to your family make a decision because it's not only about you it's all about the people around you like this doesn't only affect you it affects the people around you because of not only your mood swings or whatever the case may be but just taking away from events eating out Spending time this and this and that, tired, exhausted, whatever case may be. So you gotta be very mindful of these type of things, you know. And that's been at a competition level. Honestly, just working out, getting yourself fit is cool. But being at a competition level, it's a little more structured, you know. So I'm gonna give you till Friday. Sit on it, think about it. What do you want to do? I'm gonna give you a diet that is gonna not gonna make or break the deal, but it's either reverse into the off season or keep going. So I'll get back to you on Friday. So move forward to Thursday, 220 pounds. I'm like, fuck, like, what the fuck am I? Like I said, I wanted to cry. I'm like, yo, what the fuck am I gonna do? I'm up 15 pounds in three days. How the fuck? No way this is happening. Ran it down with my family. Kyle, I'm fucking doing this shit. Let me know what show it is. I don't give a fuck if whenever it is, let's fucking go. I can't do this. I can't let myself down. I can't let you guys down. I can't do this because if I let you guys down, then it's like, you feel me? What, what, what's the point of what I'm doing? If I'm going to sit here and just get you guys motivated and then let myself go, there's no other possible. I can't do that. I feel like you guys depend on me. I feel like the people around me that depend on me. I feel like my son depends on me because at the end of the day, this is how I want to be my family. Yes, I got my business. Yes, I got my barber stuff set up or whatever the case may be. I have my career there, but I want more. I'm not satisfied. Like I said, it's not. there's no satisfaction. There's no satisfaction level. There's no end goal. There is an end goal, but the end goal is freedom. You know what I'm saying? So, that being said, we spoke to Kyle on Friday. And his method to the madness is that, okay, we reverse right now at the conditioning that I have. Cool. But why not reverse at a better condition so that we can go up with all muscle, no body fat? Because if we go into it right now, we're going to go up with some body fat. Then when it comes down to going into our next show, and after the off season, we're gonna have to diet harder. We might sacrifice muscle, and there's no telling what muscle we're gonna stick and what muscle's not. So we have to push harder. So why not reverse at a lower percent body fat, at a better conditioning? Reverse at the best conditioning that we ever had, so that when we go up, it's all muscle, and when we come down, we don't gotta come down as hard. It's, it'll be much easier than this time, and we push forward. You know how good that sounded to me? Why the fuck not? So, with that being said, we are currently six weeks out.
we're currently six fucking weeks out. You know, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep the foot on the gas. We're going to keep a foot on their necks. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep driving. We're going to keep getting to where we got to get to. Because in six weeks, we're going to dominate. Kyle said, let's choose this show. Let's fuck this prep up. Let's go ten times harder. Put your head down. Chin up. And focus. Because we got something. We got something to prove. We got something to prove. We're going to fucking keep going. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to make this happen. We're going to show everybody that everything that you want is fucking possible. So Kyle said, let's keep going. And we'll jump into the off season once we get you to another threshold of a better condition. You reached this point. This is the best you've ever looked. This is the best you've been. This is the best package you have up to date. But let's push for one more. Let's push for a better one so that we can go ahead and take 10 to 12 months off and jump right into nationals. So the goal for this next show is to fucking win first place. The goal for this next show is to come home with that fucking posing black trophy like this with the sword and all that extra stuff. That's the goal for the next show. That's been the goal for the last couple of shows, but again, time is your best friend in this film, in this in this in this sport. Time is your best friend. And I never knew that until now. I never knew that until Cobb. That time is your best friend. You have to push. You have to keep going, but you have to be mindful of the fact that it takes time. You look at our Instagram, you're looking at all these physiques, you're seeing people, but you're forgetting that it took them time to get to those places. It took them time to get to those goals. It took them time to accomplish those muscles. Because muscle maturity is real. Muscle maturity is real. You know what I'm saying? So, what we're going to do is, we're going to push these next six weeks. We're going to go to that show and we're going to smash shit. Because I want to keep going. I want more. I wasn't, I'm sad, I was happy with third place, but I wasn't satisfied. So, we're gonna push. The goal is to get to the show, get to the best condition that we can, so that we can grow from scratch. With no body fat, shred it to the fucking gills. That's how we're gonna grow. So, we'll put on the most muscle, we can build this frame, make sure we stay and, 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 and sustain the X frame, make sure we grow all muscle, eating healthy, just much more. Much more meals, which will make me happy. I don't care eating healthy. I don't mind. As long as it's not 90 grams of rice, that shit kills me. But, so, we're going to grow. The plan is to smash the show and just grow our asses off. Grow our asses off. Because Kyle said, he's like, yo, a pro show, a nationals is out the picture right now. You need more muscle. You need more muscle tissue. And the way we got to do that is with a good off season. But, I'd rather jump you into the off season with a better conditioning so that we don't have to push as hard moving forward when we jump into our next show so that we don't sacrifice no muscle. We don't want to sacrifice no muscle. So the goal right now is to win this next show, continue pushing these hard, pushing hard these next six weeks, and no looking back. There's no looking back. We're going to push hard these next six weeks. We're going to bust our ass so that we, whatever we did good last prep, we're going to do it even better these next six weeks so that we can bring home Whatever it is God has planned for us at that show, bring that home, and then take a good time off, grow, jump right into nationals if possible. God willing, we bring home first and second place, and we could jump right into our nationals our next show and fucking go crazy, bro. You feel me? I've been holding back from telling you guys because I was just like skeptical. I wanted to make sure this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure that I was 100%, 110% sure. We don't do 100%. We do 110% everything. So, that's the plan, that's the goal, that's the mission, that's what's gonna happen. I hope you guys are watching, I hope you guys stay tuned because now, I'm gonna take everything a little more serious. We got the cameraman, we got everything we need, we got everything in motion, everything's falling in, falling in place, everything's unfolding the way it should be so that we could win, we could be successful, we could move forward, we could get these sponsors, we could get whatever it is that we need so that let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Go. Let's fucking go. Like, I'm so excited. I'm so ecstatic about this because I know what I'm about to do. I know. Right now, we're currently doing 70 minutes of cardio, 50 in the morning, 20 pulls workout, six times a week, five times a week. We're only doing 50 minutes, two days rest, fucking um, abs, six days out the week, working out five days out the week. We're gonna fucking crush this package. We're gonna crush whatever we brought on stage. Whatever you guys saw, we're gonna crush that shit by 10. I know I'm gonna do what I gotta do because I have a mission. 
I have a son I can't let down. I have a girl I can't let down. I have a family I can't let down. I have a cameraman I can't let down. I have a team behind me I can't let down. I gotta show you guys what is fucking possible. When you put your mind, you lock in, you X out all the fucking distractions. You X out everything that does not belong in your life. And that's why I love this competition because it sets you aside. It puts you in a different bracket of people that belong somewhere and people that don't belong somewhere. Because at the end of the day, if these people don't want to see interest, if these people are not okay with you being on a diet, these people are stop talking to you or stop being your friends or stop calling you or stop bringing up your phone or stop trying to chill with you because you can't go out to eat or you can't have a drink or you don't want to do the things that they're doing that's not getting them nowhere, they don't belong in your life. So this has this sport has showed me so fucking much about people that don't belong in my life that I love it. I fucking love it. And I love it because guess what? In the whole process, I can show you guys every step of the way. In the process, I can show you guys how possible it is. In the process, I can show you how beautiful this shit really is if you lock in. If you just lock the fuck in. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to end this here. I'm telling you guys what's next. I'm telling you guys what's going to happen. You guys are going to see the whole fucking process. Everything is being documented. Everything is going to be recorded. We are pushing. We are fucking pushing. So week to week, we're going to try to drop two videos at least minimum. We're going to drop a couple of reels. We're going to drop update pictures. We're going to drop fucking giveaways. We're going to be doing giveaways. Yes, you heard it now. We're going to be going to be doing giveaways. I told you in the last video, well, this I'm not sure when I'm going to drop that video, but we're going to be doing giveaways. It's going to be massages. It's going to be photo shoots. It's going to be free reels. It's going to be um free haircuts. It's going to be free training sessions. It's going to be free online coaching. It's going to be a whole bunch of free stuff from just you guys watching, from just you guys engaging, from just you guys commenting, subscribing, liking, everything, because I want you guys to be a part of the whole fucking mission. So with that being said, I love you guys. Love is love. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned. Thank you for everything, all the support that you guys give me. Everything does not go unnoticed. Nothing goes unnoticed. I fucking love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bless you.